Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to dismantle your Galaxy Nexus and show you the parts, uh, the various parts inside. The good thing about this phone is that um, it's very easy to dismantle and to um, change parts inside. Um, a lot of the things are not um, soldered to the main board. Um, so we'll, um, I'll sh I'm going to show you in a second. Um, I decided to dismantle my phone because initially it fell inside the sink full of water and then I noticed that it wasn't charging properly anymore um, so I did some googling online and found that um, some of the parts could be replaced so um, now I'm going to show you how to take it apart so you can do, do these repairs as well okay so what you're going to need is one of these okay you can get these from eBay um, plastic kind of um, tool um, and a screwdriver um, so I've got a little one as well so let's start um, so first of all you need to take the back And the battery. SIM card. And now you have here, you have six screws. This one here, two, three, four, five, six. That's one gone. That's the second one gone. Third one gone. Fourth one gone. Last one okay now let's tap it so two out three out four out five out and Let me try with this. I need a bit more. Okay, let's try to. Okay, it's out, but I mean, it's completely undone. It's slightly stuck, but... That's it, it's out. Okay, now what you need to do is, once you've got the six screws out, is using the tool, you need to make it go round okay you have to be very careful all around until it all comes off okay now it's all out um, in a process the button has fallen off but that we can put that back very easily and so now we've got the shell and the back here okay so um, there's one more screw here to remove. Oops. Okay, so that's a 
Okay, so this is the seventh screw that we need to remove. Okay, and now here Okay, so now we've got this is the ribbon on the side um, This if yours is faulty, this can be easily replaced um, As you can see uh, you can buy these parts for a few pounds on eBay now this is the trick a bit uh, here you have this is the speaker so I'm going to have to lift it off first so it's stuck okay you have to be very careful because it's attached with cables you don't want to break the cable so you have to do it from from the top um, now there are before you can lift the board completely out of the um, phone, you need to, here, you've got the volume up and down button. So up and down. Now you have to very, using this, you have to be very delicate because this volume is, uh, is attached by a ribbon to the board. So if you force it, or forget to remove it then you'll break the connection to the board so it's very slowly gently as you can see it's coming off that's it it's removed now let's do the other side the other side this is the power button again it's um, same similar to the other one soldered the ribbon to the board so you have to be very delicate as well so okay now it's lift it's glued in to the shell okay but then the like the volume it's all um, attached to the board so at this point at this point we should be able to lift the board okay so we do is go that's it as you can see it's so lifting you have to be very uh, careful you have to be very careful when lifting because as you can see here there's a little cable that's the antenna and that connects the um, top board to the bottom one here okay so you just lift them up gently now there's before you remove it completely another clip here clip and there's another one here as well as you can see very gently and the board is out so at this point you've got the shell and this is the board so if you if you wanted to change the replace the camera because it was faulty it can happen on his phones you would just here this connection here you would just um, remove lift it and put the new one in now the other um, item you may want to replace is here the speaker uh, speaker and front camera can be uh, replaced as well uh, now the if you want to replace the um, if your phone's no longer charging uh, this is the, the item that you have to replace this again uh, by removing here this little cable uh, the one <coughs> here for the, <coughs> for the antenna <coughs> sorry about this this will um, lift the board completely now um, what else is there now I'll show you how to put it all back together because that's obviously important as well uh, so now we go back
and we need to put the speaker back where it belongs okay and that more or less clips into place before you make before you put it um, stop putting the cables back you need to make sure that this cable the antenna cable is is um, not under it um, okay so we press this goes first second here okay I push this back now the uh, power button which was here which we it was glued to the shell so what we do is with the tool press it down you'll glue back in that's it and the volume up and down as well same thing you have to be very gentle not to uh, break it okay so now what else do we have we've got this the antenna cable I mentioned here it needs to go back gently okay okay so that's in as you can see all looks good so now we need to um, put this back sorry about the um, angles it's uh, I'm using my zoom to film this so it's not easy having to um, uh, because of the angle and having to because of its position okay uh, so now we screw this back okay press the clip here so at this stage at this point everything is back so all we have to do now is put before I put it back I would like to explain a few things um, I initially started as I was saying earlier uh, taking apart my uh, Nexus because I dropped it in the sink and the symptoms were that the um, it wasn't charging uh, so I replaced that part that I showed you earlier that's below here um, now the reception indoors is pretty bad okay and the outside is a bit temperamental so I thought it was this cable here I replaced this part here as well it's not that so um, I'm going to sell it and pass it on as someone else to, um, to solve um, now let's so if you if you've got uh, the camera here can be bought um, there's places uh, I think it's called parts for phones I bought the replacement camera as well uh, for $19 uh, the part here this one is a few pounds the other one for charging flex that's another few pounds so it's quite as you can see it's quite a straightforward phone so now the if the button fell off during the um, the opening like here what you do is so this is the top of the um, phone with the camera this is the button the little bit sticking out is goes at the bottom so it's like this down now you hold it like this and now okay that's the top of the phone and gently you have to be very very gently because um, in case something gets stuck okay so okay it's gone back in uh, it's back in so now I'm going to put the screws back Okay, so that's the first screw. Second screw.
Okay, another three to go. So you can see how easy, how really easy it was to take it all apart. Um, I've had uh, a lot of phones over the years. In fact, I've got a phone almost every month or so. I've had this one. This was my has been my best phone until it fell in the sink. Um, now I've got a dilemma. Uh, is either I buy a replacement one because of this reception problem. It's, it works outdoors, um, but uh, whatever SIM card you put, um, and when you go somewhere indoors anywhere, um, if, providing there's a wall, it stops working, where if I put the SIM card on an iPhone or a BlackBerry, same SIM card, I get 3G full, full signal. Okay, so now we... Go here. So the dilemma I've got is either I buy a replacement one, a new one, or buy an S3. And again, it's either I like the um, Google stock experience and the fact that these phones will always be updated before any, any other ones. This is a log version, or go for the S3. Uh, but the only option I've got at the moment is the S3 locked on orange. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, feel free to leave comments, but please be careful um, opening the um, the phone. It will void your warranty, and um, so it's you do that at your own risk. Uh, thanks for watching.